Now, you've heard me talk about osteoporosis drug classes, so I thought I'd do a reel on just the different types that there are. Osteoporosis drug classes, you have your anti-resorptive agents. What that means is they prevent you from resorbing the bone or they slow the bone resorption down because you do want some bone resorption because we resorb old bone and we continue to put new bone down our entire life. And believe it or not, we turn over our entire skeleton every seven years. And so that's why I'm always stressing calcium and vitamin D because when we're putting bone down, you want to make sure it's the strongest bone possible. Because if you think about a building, you can put up the structure itself or the um, struts. But if you don't have all the good stuff filling in between the struts, you just have a weak structure. And so that's where the calcium is part of the bone matrix. And if it doesn't have calcium, then the bone it's putting down is not as strong as it could be. So that's an aside. Sorry about that. Anti-resorptive agents. You've got your bisphosphonates, which we've talked about. Actinil, Fosamax, Reclass, Boniva. That's a few names for you. There also, Prolia is in the anti-resorptive uh, class too. Then you've got Avista. These are your CIRMs, your selective estrogen receptor modulators. Tamoxifen would be in that also. If you think about it, a lot of women are on that for treatment after breast cancer. And estrogen therapy is also considered anti-resorptive. Then you've got your bone builders, your anabolic agents. So they stimulate bone formation and they rapidly improve bone mineral density. So these agents are especially used in people with severe osteoporosis. The big one is Forteo and Avenity. So again, you've got your anti-resorptive agents and your bone builders. And realize that combination therapy is not recommended. It's sequential therapy. So like we've talked about in other reels, someone with severe osteoporosis might be put on the Forteo or Avenity to begin with. And then once they've had some rapid improvement in the bone mineral density, be transferred over to the bisphosphonate family. 